Pharmacist Sidra and welcome to another video of Pharmacy Tech Study Guide. For your PTCB exam, in addition to remembering all of your brands and generics, pharmacy laws and math problems, you also need to have a basic understanding of how medicines work in the body. Now, this process is a little bit complicated, but in this video, I'm going to give you the overview of this basic concept in a very simple and easy to understand manner. So stay with me till the end of this video. work in your body in a variety of ways. They can interfere with microorganisms uh, that invade in your body. They can destroy abnormal cells that cause cancer. They can replace any deficient substances like any hormones or vitamins, or they can actually change the way certain cells work in your body. Now, when we take a medication, it can produce desirable or undesirable effect in our body. Do you ever wonder how these medications know what effect to produce and where to go once they are in our body? Well, the simple answer is that no, these drugs don't know where to get when you take them. Well, luckily, your body has a system that is smart enough to get medicines exactly where they're needed. When you swallow a pill, it travels through the stomach and small intestine into the liver, which breaks it down and releases the remnants into the bloodstream. All the organs and tissues in the body are supplied with blood and the medication that goes along the ride in the blood actually reaches those organs and tissues then. The whole process sounds easy, but in fact, it's very complicated and involves so many factors that literally are beyond the scope of this video. So in this video, I'm going to give you just like a basic overview of the kind of journey of the medication in your body, enough information that you need to have for your functionality as a pharmacy technician. So even though drugs travel in the blood throughout our body and each drug is designed to target certain protein uh, molecules which are called receptors in the case of you know for example pain medication let's say ibuprofen or tylenol these medications search out specific receptors which are generated by pain and inflammation and then they course through the bloodstream and they reach them think of it like a lock and key the medicine is like the key and it looks throughout the body until it finds the lock where it can fit in and at the target spot say it's a sore knee in case of ibuprofen the drug molecules latch onto that target receptor as they flow by and it's it's not until it binds to that target receptor that the drug does its job once you know the drug binds to that receptor it goes into the cell and where and that's where all the good things happen the reaction between the drug and the target within the cell actually produces the desired effect now here's the interesting thing or during the molecule uh, journey i would say throughout the body these molecules drug molecules can actually bind to the areas other than the target sites especially you know if those uh, targets or receptors are close to the target site or if they are um, similar in structure to the target site then of course your drug will uh, you know kind of get confused and uh, bind to that similar looking target site instead of the target site um, and produce an undesired effect which in turn causes the side effect of the medication now also when the drug passes through the liver 
that's liver is basically the main uh, machinery house of the body where all the metabolism uh, happens so liver basically breaks a lot of the kind of uh, medications into smaller parts or it it will change the chemical composition of those medications breaks them and then kind of binds them with other uh, medications or molecules and this process is called the first pass effect in the first pass effects what happens is the concentration of the medication uh, sometimes you know changes and the newer concentration is less effective than the original molecule of the drug now in this case when this newly formulated molecule reaches uh, uh, the bloodstream and it goes to the targeted site of action it produces lesser effect because now compared to the original concentration of the drug it's lower in concentration uh, after being metabolized in the liver and now lower quantity of the drug is being reached at the site of action so fortunately for us the scientists has, have kind of figured out which medications undergo higher first pass effect and which ones undergo lesser of the effect therefore the dosage of the medication is adjusted accordingly so you know of course the medications who are gonna have higher metabolism in the liver are gonna be given in higher concentration because we know that by the time they reach the site of action their concentration will be lower so that's one way to overcome the effect of the first pass effect another way uh, to overcome the undesired side effect of the drug is to use it locally meaning use it maybe in injection form or place it directly onto the problem area for example you can use like a topical antibacterial cream or ointment for a localized skin infection or you can inject a cortisone injection for instance for a painful joint in that case you simply inject that injection straight into the joint that's hurting however many medications can not be administered in that way they have to have uh, that long route of you know metabolism however many medications cannot be administered in that way they unfortunately have to travel throughout the entire body and also uh, most of the people actually just prefer popping pill in the mouth instead of getting stabbed with an injection plus there are many other factors like you know medication stability cost availability etc that's why we cannot always kind of uh, skip that first pass effect now remember that only a portion of the active ingredient of the drug shows its effect on the side of action rest of the uh, of the drug including its active ingredients like any additives like binders colorants and shells they get metabolized by the liver and they exit the body primarily via urine or feces this is the elimination process of the uh, medication and elimination is very important step in the life of medication in body because this literally helps maintain steady levels of drug in the body and ideally a drug would be eliminated at the same rate at which it's absorbed if that doesn't happen then the body may get toxic due to over concentration of drug now we don't want that to happen right we don't want too much or too little of drug in our body uh, we want it in good proportion for it to work properly so this is the basics of how drug works in the body i have explained a little bit of both of what body does to the drug and what the drug does to the body in this video this is called pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics i know these two fancy words are a little bit difficult to understand you have to have actually proper understanding of both of these fancy words these are proper processes that take place in our body and i have two separate videos on both of these topics that I will put a link for you in the i button and description. So don't forget to watch those videos. For now, I'm going to take off. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or email me. 
and don't forget to subscribe for more lessons on pharmacy tech study guide i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye hey guys if you found value in this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos